Hey Miser Makers, I wanted to talk today about printing on glass. Should you stick with printing on tape or printing on glass? That's what I want to talk about a little bit. I want to give you some, some pros and cons for switching to glass. I currently am running on glass. Now when I start, I start off with the blue painter's tape, really any kind of tape. In fact, I start off because it's a 8 it comes with a uh, layer of tape on there. It's just kind of like a masking tape. Uh, of course, it was all bubbled up and didn't look real good and it just wasn't the greatest, but I started off printing on that just because it was on there. <clears throat> and then I switched to the blue painter's tape like so many start off with. And it worked good for a while, but there was a lot of things I didn't like about it. I'm going to go over some of those. And then, of course, we've got the glass. So let me tell you a little bit about the pros and cons of each and we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. We start off with the blue tape and I've migrated to glass now. One of the big differences in going with the glass is the cost because with the painter's tape, even though I would get this like at the Dollar General or something like that, I usually get them pretty cheap. Still, once you do two or three rolls, you're looking at 10, 15 bucks, and if you know as you keep printing and printing, you're looking at more and more cost for the tape. Whereas the glass, I got this just at our local big box store, got them at a Lowe's, and it was only two dollars and something for this piece. So I actually got about four of them for 10 bucks, and they cut it to size on the A and A8, and I gave them those metric, and they got all confused because it was an English system. So anyway, we converted it to English system, and they, they cut the pieces for me. Now, they wouldn't cut the corners, and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, but that's one of the, the challenges of going to glass. But cost is the big thing. So this is under $3 one-time investment, and you can keep using this glass over and over and over instead of buying tape again and again. So that's one of the big advantages is the cost. Also, the durability. This is going to pretty much, you can keep using the same piece over and over and over for a long time as long as you don't end up breaking it somehow. Whereas the tape, you know, you have to take it off after a while. You can do a few prints maybe on it, but every time I would use it after the first print, there would usually be some worn off on the tape. And um, each time it seemed to just kind of wear down a little bit or it would bubble up a little bit or it would be indented or something. It, it wouldn't be level. So that was another negative to sticking with the tape. Whereas the glass, it maintains its nice smoothness and it just works all the time. Speaking of smoothness, the prints on glass are amazingly smooth where it actually prints on the glass. You'll have a nice gloss, glossy, smooth finish which is, just looks awesome. Whereas the tape, it's not going to be nice as glossy and smooth. Now it'll still be good, but there's just something about the print when it's done on glass. It's just amazing. Um, also, with the tape, you can get little ridges because you're not generally not going to find tape that's going to cover your whole hotbed with just one piece. You're going to have to lay out several layers, several strips all the way across. So it's a little bit of a pain in the butt setting it up. In fact, then you're going to be putting, you know, several layers on there. And then you got to trim the edges so it's nice and neat. Anyway, it's just kind of more of a pain in the butt. But where those little ridges are in between each piece of tape, you could see that on the bottom of the print. You would have a little bit of a ridge there. And plus it's a pain lining it up where you have both of them not overlapping each other, but right next to each other, but without a gap in between. It's a pain in the butt to get that to actually lay out properly. So that, that's another negative. Another thing is the surface being level. A lot of hotbeds, especially when, once they come up to temperature, they might bow a little bit or you might have some pits and valleys in there, and so it's not really smooth. Whereas glass is made to be smooth, perfectly smooth surface. So when you put the glass on there, even if the hotbed below it is not perfectly smooth, once you put that glass on there, it is smooth all the way across. You're not going to have the pits and levels. So that's another big advantage of it. Another thing is with the tape, a lot of the prints that I would do would end up sticking to the tape. Uh, especially if there's a lot of surface area on there. <clears throat> uh, 
when I would print it out, I'd try to pull it off. Sometimes the tape would be stuck to it, and the tape would just rip and stick to the bottom of the print, and it would pretty much just ruin it. I mean, you, you couldn't even peel it off. You'd try to peel it off, and it would just tear, and you'd have a lot still stuck on the bottom of the print, and the print's pretty much just useless at that time. You don't have that issue with glass. It just prints on there nice and neat, and then uh, comes off real easy, and then you've still got a nice clean surface there. It uh, just doesn't stick to the surface where it'll, it'll stick to tape and the tape can come off. And the glass, it's really easy to come off, especially when it cools down. You let the print cool down and the hot bed cool down all the way. Sometimes the print will just slide right off. It just makes it really easy. If nothing else, it's just a little bit of a snap and it comes off. You usually don't need to use a tool to pry it off or anything. It's just a nice... Uh, nice loose feel just just stuck on there enough where it doesn't move and it'll just come right off it, it's just another big advantage to it so it's also really easy to clean tape can be a pain because you know when you're pulling it off it might tear and some of it still stays sticky on the bed uh, just kind of a pain in the butt whereas the glass you can always pop it off clean it with some rubbing alcohol or some other sort of glass cleaner things like that and it cleans off real easily and real nice and like I said you can just pop it off real easy so if you need to take it somewhere to clean it easier than right there on the bed you can do that instead of it being right on the bed there and so that's just a lot a lot nicer too so um, doesn't really wear out either whereas the tape like I mentioned before is gonna wear out after a few prints also things like um, there's been a couple times where I accidentally have the z-axis wrong or something might get out of kilter or something and when that uh, hot end comes down it might try to grind into a little bit and I've had several places where when it hits the tape it actually keep trying to go and try to dig into the bed which it did when I just had the tape on there it actually dug into the bed kind of scraped the metal and just it was nasty whereas on the glass it would hit there and it, it wouldn't break the glass it didn't chip the glass or anything it just kind of sat there and the stepper motors were pumping a little bit and I canceled it real quick obviously but it didn't cause any issues on the glass where it would have with the tape. It would have gone right through the tape and then nicked or somehow scuffed the actual heat bed, which could cause it to heat unevenly and stuff like that. So that's another big advantage to the glass. Some sort of cons to the glass is uh, it can be tough to level. If you've got, um, like with the a a you just have those screws there. And if you haven't added an upgrade to where you've got the screws on the bottom of the bed to level it, which it's still kind of a pain to level it. Um, it can be a pain if you have glass on there because the glass is either going to cover the screws, which mine does, that's the way I have it set up. So the screws are on the corner here and it's going to cover those up. Or what you have to do is you have to remove this when you want to level the bed, but then you put this back on and since you're adding another surface, it's not, no, not level anymore because you might level it um, without the glass on there, but when you put the glass on there, it's different. So you have to level it with the glass on there, but if you've got to take it off to adjust the screws, it's a pain, because then you'll, you'll tweak one just a little bit and put it back, and then it's not just right. You've got to take it back off, twist it again. So if you don't have auto leveling, it can be a major pain in the butt having glass on there. For a while, I even put a piece of glass on there that I had snipped off the corners so I could still get to the screws to level it. Um, but it didn't look very good first of all I didn't have a glass cutter so I just used some snips that I had you can you can actually cut glass by snipping it underwater but it still it didn't look real good it was a little jagged it wasn't too sharp but it just didn't look good and it just wasn't nice so since then though I've gone to the full piece that does cover up the screws but I'm using auto leveling and so another issue is even if you're using auto leveling with glass if you've got a inductive sensor on there, the glass, it doesn't sense the glass. It's basically trying to find the metal under it. So sometimes it's not going to work real well on sensing where the bed is through the glass. Plus the, the heated bed can cause issues with those inductive sensors too. So with glass, the inductive sensors don't work so well. But I've got a BL Touch clone, which they work great because it's actually touching the surface. So that's the way to go. So you really eliminate 
a lot of those problems if you've got auto leveling with a touch sensor. Then there's not many cons at all because uh, then you can still auto level the bed even with the glass on there. So I highly recommend going with glass. And another thing, this is just standard window pane glass. So it's not some fancy, expensive type either. And this works perfectly fine for me. I mean, I'm sure you can justify other reasons for getting expensive, specialized pieces of glasses like you'll see um, on the internet everywhere. But this works just fine. Like I said, at Lowe's, and it, here, you can see this on here, uh, it's 3 by uh, 3 30 seconds. That's just kind of standard window pane glass. Uh, it was actually a 10 by 12 original piece that I had to buy, and they just cut it down to size. So anyway, just regular, standard window pane glass. Works perfectly. Never had a problem with it. Hey, it works great. I highly recommend going to glass. So upgrade to glass on your a A8. Get some awesome prints. Happy making, and I'll see you next time.